I'm reviewing electronics for dummies. This is a huge book. It has about 900 pages. It is actually divided into nine books. So the first book, book number one, is just getting started. So it introduces concepts like, you know, what is current, what is voltage, it starts very simple. And then um, the basic uh, components that you might need to, to build the projects in this book. Uh, it also talks about the multimeter, soldering, how to use the multimeter, and uh, oscilloscope, uh, what is it, and uh, how to use it. So it starts just introducing stuff, showing you what are the components that you will need to start doing electronics as a hobby. So in book number two, you start working with basic electronic components. So this book is uh, relatively large and you start, you know, building um, building circuits with, you know, you start with the resistors and capacitors and there are many projects in here. And uh, there is always a picture of how the project look li looks like and also uh, detailed steps about, you know, where to plug things, etc. So in this in this second book, you um you eventually learn about the all the basic components like resistors capacitors inductors uh diodes led uh which is diodes of course and transistors and you 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 learn the basic for example here you know the rectifying uh circuits and there are a lot of projects, as you can see, a lot of projects, and uh, you have, you know, how the project looks and the the steps in detail. So it's very easy to follow. And by the end of this second book, you have built many circuits with the basic, with the basic components. In book number three, it introduces integrated uh, circuits, and it um, it has a lot of projects using the uh, timer integrated circuits and also the operational amplifier so again there are a lot of uh, projects in here using especially those two integrated circuits and so by the end of this book you know doing book number three you get to know what is the integrated circuits and you do projects with uh, two of the most common integrated circuits book number four is called beyond direct current so in this book, we start dealing with alternating current. So this book is interesting. It shows uh, in our houses, we have, of course, AC current, and then we need to convert it into DC to power uh, most of our, to power our normal devices. And it shows how, you know, using the elements that we dealt with previously, it shows uh, circuits and concepts that are needed to be able to uh, do this conversion. It also talks about uh, radio, you can build a small uh, radio project in this uh, chapter, which is very interesting indeed. And then there is also a little bit about infrared. This book is, is interesting, was interesting for me. I learned something new from it and uh, it was very interesting to see. Book number five is about digital electronics. And to be honest, this was, for me, this was very great book because um, because it's the first time that I actually get to know about uh, digital electronics. So the previous books, I had previous exposure. I learned a lot from the previous books still because I just knew the basics and it has been very long time. So it was good for me to refresh my memory. But this book was uh, something new to me. I didn't know about how digital electronics work and you know i mean it just made total sense you know the use of resistors tra sorry transistors uh to do digital electronics and logic and gates i mean i learned all of this from this book i really didn't know about it before so and memories at the end of the book it talks about how uh, flip flip flops so yeah this book book number five for me was was really great because I learned something very new to me about digital electronics. It also brought through things that I think many people know about, like binary numbers and how to how to uh, 
how to add them, how to convert, whatever, you know, those kind of things. It goes through them and uh, the logic here. But yeah, the, the highlight for me was, you know, just seeing how digital electronics work and, you know, doing a pro project where, you know, you use transistor to build uh, the logic gates. I mean, this was very fascinating. It was totally new to me, so it was it was very, um, very interesting. And uh, to be honest, I wish I knew about this when I was a bachelor student. In book six, seven, and eight, you start using microprocessors. So in book six, you work with Arduino. In book seven, you work with basic stamp. And then in book eight, you work with Raspberry Pi. In these three books, there are again many projects and uh, a lot of instructions about how to uh, assemble the project, about the programming of the microcontroller, etc. Uh, so for me, these three books, I don't have the microprocessor, I don't have Raspberry Pi or Arduino or whatever, so I haven't really gone through them in details. But uh, maybe in the future, if I obtain one of them, I will go through. I will go through these projects as a uh, as a starting point to get to introduce myself to these microprocessors. The final chapters, the final book, is uh, special effect effects. So in this book, you use your previous knowledge to do larger projects. Uh, you you will need to use uh, sometimes you know the microprocessors. Uh, that you learned about in books six, seven, and eight, and you use basically your previous knowledge to to have uh, bigger projects and uh, with again details uh, instructions of how to build them. So this book is very easy to follow. In this book, you will develop a very good intuition about electronic circuits and the different electronic components. It it uh, gives you very good exposure to the basics in a very intuitive and easy way. You can get simple electronic components and start doing projects in following this book. And I think this way, you know, learning about the basics and doing projects to see them in action is a very good way to have a good intuition about electronic components. This book is for people who don't have previous exposure to electronics. If you are interested in electronics and you don't have any previous exposure, then I think this book can be very good for you. If you have previous exposure, but it wasn't um, that advanced, you know, just very basics, maybe long time ago, then I think this book can also be good because it will uh, be a good review. It will refresh your memory. You will be able to work on simple projects. If you already had a um, very advanced exposure, then I think this would be too simple. This is for beginners, for people with just basic knowledge. I think this book can be seen as introductory lab. There are many projects that you can follow, easy instructions. Overall, I enjoyed this book and I learned something from it.